Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Denali and I'm here with a huge Goodwill outlet haul. I have 150 pounds of clothing to show you. It has been a long time since I've gotten that much clothing from the outlet, but when you have a great day, you have a great day. So let's just get right into it. I've got my first bag here. I have cleaned and processed everything at home. And so now is the sorting and photographing that's going to happen to prepare it to list, hopefully sell and then ship. So first item I have for you, this is a really great trip, okay? Just like brace yourselves, okay? I mean, I don't wanna build it up like my first item is like the crazy best item because <laughs> I have no rhyme or reason to these and I'm not editing this video today, so sorry guys. This is the brand, I've actually never heard of this. It's called Tape Measure. And I don't know if it's a current anthropology brand or an older piece of theirs. It's a size large and it's a blend of acrylic, nylon, and mohair. So that's what drew me to it by touch. And then it does have somewhere on here the, oh, I thought this was anthro, JK. It's not anthro, I thought it was for a second there. Uh, it doesn't have the 66170RN number here. Anyways, it's 52002. Where do they sell this brand? Do you guys know? Anyways, definitely bought this because of touch, you know, the mohair, of course. A lot of the items that I picked up were pretty delicate, so I had to wash a lot of this stuff like on lo like a lower speed. You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> the delicate cycle. <laughs> and I didn't dry it. I laid everything flat to dry. Wow, my house looked like a laundromat, so there's that. The next item I have to show you, so excited to find this brand, is The Great. And this is a size zero and off the top of my head again, I believe The Great does vanity sizing. So I think zero is like the extra small or the small, but then I believe they have like a one, two, three, four. Not sure how much higher they go, but it's just this pretty bluish, oh, you can't see because it's yellowy in here. But anyways, blue blouse. It's definitely oversized because I'm like, would it fit me? Probably. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll sell that here or send it off to the real real. I don't know. I'll make these decisions later. <laughs> what draws me to those decisions? If we have too much inventory here and we just need to have somebody else help us with it, usually that's what does it for me. I actually got two of this brand on this trip. I never find this brand, but it's Gilly, G-I-L-L-I. -L -L -I. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anyways, it's a size small and it's a sweater dress. Uh, the bummer is, is that it does have the belt loops here. And unfortunately, I did not find the belt for it. Again, I grabbed this by touch. That's why I don't like to wear gloves at the outlet. It is 30% wool. But anyways, this is what it looks like. Just, you know, a sweater dress, right? So I'll definitely sell this here because without the belt, the real real is just not gonna take it. All right, next one, this is funny. I I have this top and it had a stain on it and I don't even think I'd listed it, I've had it forever. Anyways, I found another one at the outlet. <laughs> so anyway, it's the brand Rag and Bone. This is a size medium top. It's a current-ish piece because I did receive one in liquidation. There's some maybe discoloration here. I can't really tell because the ring light is not the best but I tried soaking it and stain treating it and doing what I could. But anyway, it's a really cute top. I just hit myself in the eye. It's a cute top and, but because of the discol possible discoloration, I won't be able to send it into the real real. They're just not gonna take that. What else do I have here? I love this brand. So I had seen earlier in the week, my friend Savannah, who is street savvy on Instagram, had found this brand recently. I love selling this brand because it sells for a lot of money and kind of quickly sometimes. Anyways, when I was at the outlet this this day, this trip, I kept thinking to myself, I, I really wanna find Rafa, R-A-P-H-A. It's a cycling brand. I don't know if they do other sports as well. Cycling is what I know it for. And I found one, so, you know, I don't know what that means. Maybe I should have bought a lottery ticket that day. But it is a cycling top. I'm guessing it's probably a men's, but I'm not sure. This is a size large. Great brand if you ever can find it. Pick it up, but you know, pay low enough to make the right amount. <laughs> 
Okay, next item is, I think, oh, this is just a pair of Athleta pants. So in my last haul video, I did some bins boxes, and so I was thinking about doing some for this trip as well. So I'm gonna set this to the side, because I think this was one of the items that I was thinking maybe I would put in there. Um, anyways, they're just a pair of pants. I'm just checking to make sure they're all good, because I don't want to send off anything funky. Oh, maybe I won't send them, I don't know. There's like a little hole in the waistline there. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell them. I'll sell these. Okay, next item is, oh, this is the brand Brooks. This is actually a local company uh, to Washington State. And obviously this is Christmas holiday themed because it's got Santa on there. Uh, but yeah, it's just a long sleeve shirt. They're known for their running shoes or athletic shoes, more so uh, running. <laughs> so anyways, I'm guessing this is just like a long sleeve shirt you could wear running. I apologize if you hear dogs in the background. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, one of my favorite brands, Smart Wool, not to wear, just to sell. I've never worn it before. I'm sure it's great. These are a size small, like legging. I think it's, you know, what'd you call it? Like a base layer type thing for outdoorsy people activities. Uh, this is one of those brands that I talked about. There's a little hole in the back here where a little hole here or there or a big hole here or there won't stop me from purchasing it because it's usually worn underneath maybe like snow pants or something else just, you know, people are layering on top of it. So, you know, eight times out of 10, nobody's gonna see that hole. The customer doesn't usually mind. So something to think about. This brand, this is new to me and I can't remember the, the comps off the top of my head. So if you're sitting in front of your computer right now, Google this brand, it's called Pull Tonic and this is what the tag looks like. I looked it up on eBay and what I saw looked good enough for me. So anyways, it's just this really pretty sweater. Look at that. That's actually really beautiful now that I'm paying more attention to it. Yeah, I love this. This is really pretty. And again, just by touch, I knew it was a nice sweater. It's 68% lamb's wool and 17% cashmere. The rest is micro acrylic and lycra. But I mean, 68 plus 17 lamb's wool and cashmere. I mean, that's, it's a soft sweater. I'm gonna be honest with you. So this is gorgeous and yeah, from what I remember, the comps looked interesting enough. So we'll go with that, okay? All right, next item, I think this is, I wanna say it's a Maeve dress, but I don't think it is. Is it, is that what you are? No, okay, it's a kimchi and blue dress. Okay, this was another one that I thought about picking up to put in a box. Um, if anyone's interested in purchasing a box, but uh, it's a size four and this kimchi and blue is sold at Urban Outfitters. And look how beautiful this print is. We're coming up on spring and summer, which is very hard to believe. But anyways, how do you hold this? Here's the, here's the straps, here we go. Yeah, and it's got a little cutout just in the upper back. Could still wear a bra though. So anyways, I'll set that over there. Hopefully I have enough to do a box. Otherwise this is gonna make it difficult. These are a pair of, they look weird, one teaspoon <laughs> shorts. I feel like I need to either let them out or roll them up. They were rolled up, but then when I washed them, they let out. And I kind of think it looks better let out, but, oh, but then it's, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to roll them up. Anyways, this is the brand One Teaspoon. That's what the tag looks like there. Jean shorts, I've literally sold these ones before. And if you ever purchase them and think to yourself or see them, mm, no, these must be altered because the inseam is too short. Mm -mm, nope, <laughs> that's how they are. Learning. In my experience, that's how they are. Okay, next item is, I think this is Lululemon, wherever. Oh no, it's Aviva, which is Lululemon. So there's the little Aviva logo. This is their kids line. And it's just this kind of what, aqua teal blue top. Um, oh my gosh, it even has a tag on there. Isn't that lovely? This is a size 12 and the only issue, it needs to be lint rolled. The only issue is it's just kind of pilly from time. You know what I mean? It's almost like that pilly that's just worn into the fabric. Does that make sense if I say that? A pilly fabric that's worn into the fabric. Anyway, moving on. Next is a pair of 
Adriano Goldschmied jeans. And these are the Angel Boot Cut. And yeah, I was thinking about putting these into a box as well. Now you might be saying, Denali, what? Dog. Um, you might be saying to yourself, Denali, what makes you want to put it in a box versus just sell it for yourself? Well, one, I have a lot of inventory to work with, right? We kind of discussed that off the top. But secondly, these are items that maybe I would have picked up to take to Play-Dohs or to thread up or whatever. I could sell them via YouTube. It might sell a little bit quicker and I don't have to drive to Play-Dohs. There's also that. And I know people are in need of inventory. There's a lot of people who can't leave their home for whatever the reason might be. And so this is just an opportunity for other people to get inventory. Anyway, yeah. All that said, I think these are gonna go into a box. So let's throw that over there. Okay, next item is, I, yeah, this is Lululemon and it's a size six. That's what the long receipt tag looks like. This one's kind of fun. It's like a splatter paint slash midnight sky. It's in great condition. And you know, if you haven't been watching the last few hauls of mine, because I mentioned it, I've been using this stuff called, not sponsored by them, Pearwall, P-E-R-W-O-L-L. -L. I'm probably pr pronouncing it incorrectly, but you can wash your darker garments in there and it will restore a nice, rich color to them. It is not, um, if you're thinking that the liquid that you pour in the Pearwall, if you're thinking that it has a dark or a black tint or coloring to it, no, it's like creamy. It looks like shampoo, right? <laughs> like Dove soap, you know, the liquid stuff. That's what it looks like. So it's not going to ruin your washer or your next load or anything like that. Um, I'll do a load of darks and then I'll put lighter or bright colors in the next load. It, nothing, it doesn't affect anything. And it will take items that are faded you know, maybe have a black t-shirt. If it turns that faded gray and then you wash it with a parallel, it makes it this rich, dark color again. So something to consider, would love to be sponsored by them, but I am absolutely not. I'm telling you this because I genuinely love the product. I'm gonna show you a few more darker colored items that I washed with it recently, so you will get an idea. But anyway, moving on. I believe I did these with them. These are a pair of Helly Hansen snow pants. Again, color, oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but anyways, uh, Helly Hansen retails for a ton of money. So when I find it in good to mostly good condition, I pick it up and these are actually pretty dang good. Like that's the only flaw I've seen thus far. And that's pretty good on the back of the heel. I mean, there's whatever this is, but it's not torn. So anyways, stoked about these. And if for some reason you're interested, they're just size large, but I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't know if it's like a men's or women's sizing, but somebody wrote Joe, J-O-E on the inside along with their address and last name, but I'm not gonna give you that part. I throw that over there. Here's another item that got washed with the pear wall. It'd be funny if that's really not how you pronounce it. Lululemon hoodie and it's linty. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys could see it, this is like such a rich coloring to this. I'm just, I love it. I'm sorry. I, I'll, sh I'll shut up about it now, but I really, I really actually love it. Uh, this does have the size dot and then the I belong to sticker on in here. This is a size six. I'll stick that there. Sure. Why not? I don't feel like that's a good spot. Keep going. I have like 80 more bags to do. These are inside out, but you're going to get the gist of them. This is the brand Blanky, B-L-A-N-Q-I. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. These are a size small and they're maternity leggings. They've got the nice cozy belly panel right here. And these do retail for quite a bit of money. That's what the inside looks like. But anyways, yeah, I like picking up maternity pieces, especially if they have a nice return on investment. Okay, next one is a Christian Dior vintage piece. It is a size medium. And the neck, like the trim around the neck as well as the trim around the sleeves is a terry cloth. And then the rest is this, I don't know what the heck you'd call it. It looks to me to be a swimsuit cover up. That's my guess. It's in really good condition. 
I don't know what I'll do with it. Oh, I should have started like a pile for the real real. Mm, I might send it there. They do sell obviously Dior, but they do also sell vintage. So just something to keep in mind. This is a Madewell top. It's a size medium and I'm shocked that it's not stained or anything. Uh, yeah, I'm like, where's the stain, guys? Uh, yeah, just a little button front top. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there was gonna be a, there's like a tiny little dot there. Anyways, that's fine. We'll just disclose that in the listing. <clears throat> what else do we got? Next is, oh, this is inside out, but this again is another pregnancy brand uh, that is expensive. It's actually, I don't know if this is a diffusion line or what it is, but it says the nines by Hatch, H-A-T-C-H, Hatch is the brand. This is a size extra large. I think it's linen tank top. Yeah, it's nice and loose and I'm guessing that's to accommodate the belly. Oh, it's, oh, it's hemp. It's 55% hemp, 45% cotton. So again, I'm fairly certain I could send this to the real real. I don't know if I wanna do that, but I'll put it in my real real pal for now. This I just couldn't hold myself back from. It is a Wu-Tang t-shirt. Now it's just from Aunt ASOS. It's a reprint, but you know, when I see 90s stuff, I just feel drawn to it for some reason. Um, it's a size medium. Here's what it looks like. However, there is like a stain, discoloration, something there. I did stain treat it once. I didn't do it multiple times because it's just an ASOS t-shirt. So so I didn't, <laughs> I mean, arguably should I picked it up in the first place? Don't ask me that. Um, okay, next item is an Everlane t-shirt. It's a size extra large. I thought actually about keeping this one, if it'll fit me. It looks a little crop though. I don't want, you can't see it. Plus there's like, not that, this is the reason I should keep it. There's a little, two little, yeah, two bleach spots there. I didn't cause them. Um, so that's a bummer. But it's still an Everlane t-shirt, so somebody might want it. I would keep it, but again, I think it's just like a little, a skosh too cropped for what I'm comfortable with. I did wash that with the pear wall, but again, that pear wall is not tinted. There's no, like, not a dye in there. Uh, so anyway, sorry, I thought I saw something. So it's not gonna dye the garment black to fix that issue. Okay, next we have an Eileen Fisher sweater. Um, she does have a flaw on the back, real pretty sweater, right? But somebody took a little bite. Somebody got a little hungry, took a little nibble. But again, I'll just disclose that. It's a size large. And what type of material is this? I'm not sure. It feels like, like mohair, maybe mohair or cashmere. I'm going to guess. Oh, merino wool and 50% yak. So I was way off. I don't know, you know, oftentimes I'll give stuff to my sewist to repair, but I don't know if that's just gonna be too obvious. Look, it looks like it's talking to you. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's repairable. So I don't know if it's worth it. You probably should just sell it as is. This is a Free People romper. It's a size small and what does it look like? It's all sorts of something. Okay, here it is. Ties in the back. I don't know. She's in good condition. Yeah, we'll sell it. Cool, put that in that pile. This I got so excited over, you know what it is. It's a Barefoot Dreams robe. So I've been wanting a Barefoot Dreams robe, <laughs> but this one's not my size. <laughs> so I'm not keeping it. I don't know, I didn't try it on, but I'm just guessing it's not my size. It's a size one. The tag has come loose here. So maybe I will have my sewist put that right back on there just so we don't have to consider that to be a flaw. It does have the belt. I don't always find the belts, but not finding the belt wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. People like the robes, so they're willing to probably buy them separate or, you know, just tie a belt around their waist. I don't know, <laughs> probably not that. <laughs> okay, this is something silk. Oh, this is a Vince shirt. It's a size medium, definitely silk. Real pretty, it's almost like a gold. Yeah, a gold color. Um, it's a pretty good condition. 
there's a little loose string at the bottom I need to snip snip. I may send it to the real real again just to lighten our load. By the time we get to this end of this haul, you're gonna be like, yeah, I get it, Denali. That makes sense. This brand I don't find often. I don't even I don't even know what the inside of this looks like. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just like there's no graphic or anything on here, but it's the brand and other stories. And that's what the tag looks like. It's a size extra small. I don't know, it looks fine. It looks good to me. If I'm guessing, it's cashmere. But I'll just keep guessing for the rest of my life because somebody cut off the tag in there. So we will sell this here. I don't know if they take that brand at the real real. I don't think so. It's not that expensive. Okay, this I got and I thought, mm, maybe you keep it, Denali. But actually, I don't know if I will. It's a large and I'm probably more of an XL. But this is a Zella size large, like teddy bear coat. It's crazy soft and I'm gonna dip out of frame for one second. But again, I showed you guys, I think in my last video, this comb, love it. Takes it from this like nubby, kind of not so cute look to restoring it. Now there's this comb and then there is another comb that I do like. Um, look at that. You, you can use these on your carpet. I think that's what they're intended for, but it just makes it a lot nicer again. I don't know. It feels better to me. So anyways, that's that. We'll sell this here. I'm gonna toss that over there because I'm running out of space. <laughs> it's bad that I'm running out of space. I grabbed this and I, I'm not sure if I looked up comps and I was making myself look up every comp. So I'm guessing I probably did. And if I didn't, I bought it because it's a maternity bra and maternity stuff, especially bras, bras in general, sell well. So this is the brand Kindred Brave, Ellie, Bravely, Bravely, <laughs> Kindred Bravely. I was like, huh, what does that say? Anyways, it is a no wire bra and then it does have the little, you know, so you can, yeah. Um, actually it, it, I think attaches to, you know, your pump, which is kind of nice. That's a great feature for moms. Uh, so anyways, yeah, here's this and in case anybody's curious on the size, I think it says an extra large. I think initially I was like, Ooh, that's a nice bra. I would wear that. I wouldn't not wear it, but I don't feel like I could use all of its features currently. So there's that. This is an Eileen Fisher top. It's a size small, just a little polka dot Navy cute thing. It's kind of short. Let's, let's just be honest about that. We'll sell that here. Okay. This next dress, you just saw it. This next dress, I just got it because I was like, maybe I can throw Y2K in the title and it'll sell. It was more of just kind of a fun little test. So we'll see if I can do that. <laughs> it's a dress barn dress. So, you know, cool, but like, look at it. <laughs> I mean, this just reminds me of a certain era. It does have these, what are they called? Ties, belts, whatever for the back to give you a little more of uh, a, a prettier waist here. And there are these little circles to make it kind of look sparkly. So anyways, I don't know. Why not guys? Why 2 k I'm going to throw it in the title and I'll let you know what happens. I don't know if I'm going to follow up on that one. So maybe ask me if you remember, <laughs> this is an intimately free people racer back velour tank. So nice. It's a size small gray. How fun is this? Yeah, love that, super cute. <sighs> Next item, I think this is Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's kids line. I don't even know, is there a graphic on here? Now I'm like, is there stains on here? I don't, I, the day was a blur. It was so good. And let me also add this in. It was all the picked over bins. So like these bins have been sitting there for quite some time. I did maybe get in on like uh, one or two rotations when they first rolled out, but this is not, that's not where I found the bulk of these items. These were the bins that nobody wanted. Like I remember at one point I was looking through a bin, it was a really great bin and looking over at everybody waiting in line for the new rotation to come out. And I was having FOMO cause I was like, I want to be over there. But then I was like, Denali, <laughs> like you're literally pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Like everything you're getting out of here is good. Why would you leave this spot? So I shifted what I was thinking there. 
Okay, this next item is the brand. I'm not sure what brand it is. Oh, it's Urban Outfitters. Um, I picked it up because if you saw one of my recent hauls, I talked about gingham and I've seen some influencers wearing gingham. So I wanted to get some gingham. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. It has like, you know, a little open back there. So I did it, okay? I got my gingham. Let's go to the next item. Oh, love, love, love finding this brand. Uh, Filson. Now, I just found a t-shirt, which I don't know that it's gonna be big money. Uh, this is a medium, size medium ladies. And it says protect our forest, prevent wildfire. And it's got Smokey the Bear on it. Super cute. But anyways, Filson is a great brand. It is local to me here in Washington state. And, okay, the dogs are going again. And what else about it? It sells for a great amount of money if you like find any of their jackets, probably sweaters, heavier pieces, I would imagine. Uh, this I grabbed because I was like, this kind of looks fancy. And I can't remember all the bougie baby brands that I picked up, but I think this was one of the good ones. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but this is Petite Lem. Is this a good one? Three month? I know I comped at least most of them, but I felt like maybe there was one I didn't. So sure one of my parent friends out there will know. Uh, this is Pilcro, which is used to be Pilcro in the letter prep letterpress by anthropology that must be what the new logo looks like just this real cute burnout floral t-shirt of course we will sell that here uh this is crew cuts oh which is kids crew cuts did i even show you the other one i, I feel like i just talked about it. i'm sorry guys crew cuts size 14 i just thought it was really cute look at this so adorable i just signed up wow Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just signed up on Kitizen to start selling. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner because I've been selling kids stuff for like a long time, but I finally did it. And yeah, I will have items over there now. Okay. Let me grab this bag. I feel like those who have animals or pets at home, your dog is probably reacting to this now, hearing the dogs next door. So I apologize. Um, what are they saying? Ask your dog. What are they saying right now? Okay, next up is, again, wash this with the bear wall. So we got this beautiful, rich, dark color. Uh, this is the brand Chaser, and it is one of their waffle knit tops. I don't know. I thought about putting this into a box. So this is a size medium. So we'll put that over there. This is a Lululemon top it's a size six and look it even has the size tag on there mm, what kind of neck do you scoop neck right just a lightweight scoop neck t-shirt these are oh nobody grabbed these because i think they didn't know the logo but this is the intimately free people logo right there again wash these with the bear wall oh my god imagine if they were paying me to talk about them. I'm like, just give me like a lifetime supply. That's all. Um, anyways, free people intimately. I looked in here and I was like, oh yeah, they're a size. It's actually kind of hard for me to tell because it is super faded in here, um, but we'll figure it out. It kind of looks like it says 24, but I'm not sure. They're, it's a ribbed waist. And then it does have, what, what's this word I'm looking for? Holes, aerated holes on the side. That's not what they are called, but that's what I'm calling them <laughs> in this moment. Okay, next item is a top. It's a Madewell top. It's a size medium. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything. Oh, there's a little hole right there. Um, but yeah, just a real cute Madewell basic. When I was at, last time I was at Plato's and I looked through the racks just to be like, what are they taking? so much made well it was insane okay this next shirt i don't even think i can sell it this is just like it's too amazing so this is i believe a vintage t-shirt it is the brand uh broderick broderick usa it says size 38-40 it's polyester cotton ringer tee but you guys if you're from washington look it says puget sound on there it's a vintage puget sound t-shirt yeah it's 
it's not getting sold. <laughs> I feel like a historian with some of the stuff that I keep. I'm just like, I can't sell you. You will live in my home. <laughs> Maybe someday I can wear you. Maybe I can't. That's okay. This dress was just so cute. I didn't even bother to look up comps. It is a vintage, I believe, dress. Look at all the little fruit on here. So fun. It's got the pockets here in the front. The brand I've seen before, it's Carriage Court, which mm, I don't know that it's like anything special. I just thought it was real cute. A little sundress. It's a little sheer. So personally, I would probably wear definitely a bra underneath here, but that's just me. And, but maybe some sort of slip or something. Again, that's just me. Okay. Uh, this chaser shirt, I think I'm going to keep because I like the star prints on here. So it's a chaser size medium sweater. That's it. I just love star prints. Do you? Are you a sucker for a star print? Okay, this. So I found, I think, two parts, two of three parts of my trifecta, which is smart wool, Architerix. <laughs> I always forget the other one. Ibex, Ibex. Okay. So I found Architerics, uh, which was so exciting. Again, not sure why nobody wanted this in, in the bins I was looking in. Uh, women's medium, yeah, jacket. I don't know if I wanna sell this or send it off to the Real Real. I kinda am tempted to send it maybe to the Real Real. Real, Real I think they'd take that one. Um, but yeah, I don't know why people didn't want this stuff. It's weird, cause like these are the bins that were about to get taken away. You know what I'm talking about, if you've ever been to the outlet. Okay, this next dress I am obsessed with. I want it for me, but I'm going to sell this one and then I will rebuy it someday. <laughs> but it is an athleta dress. I'm. This looks like a newer tag than what I'm familiar with. It's a size medium. It is this gorgeous, lightweight, racer back dress. This material is, it feels like a windbreaker is the best way I can describe it. Uh, I was gonna say, yep, there's pockets. It's flowy. This just, I just love this dress. The color is, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a stone blue. Does that even make sense? Is stone blue a thing? I love that. I absolutely love that dress. So, okay. Next item is Jay McLaughlin. Um, is this Jay McLaughlin still sell well? I've probably the last time I picked it up was a few years ago. And I'm not saying that in a way where I, I wouldn't sell it. I just, I haven't found it in a while. So anyways, and I've usually sold dresses, but this is a top, button down top. And that looks like it's probably a newer logo. It's a size extra small, just a button up shirt, button up, button down. Yeah, this one is a button up, even though it does have the buttons to make it look like a button down. What's with that? Um, another Architerix jacket, guys. Look at this one. Uh, there's a little bit of light pilling on here. And again, I've got another one of these combs that's smaller. The hair is still here. Uh, it's not hair. It's just fuzz. But anyways, this will take it off. A deep pillar will take it off. My smaller comb will take it off. But anyway, yeah, this one is a size men's medium. So yeah, I don't think I found any Ibex though. We could have completed the trifecta, but we cannot now because we did not find that item. This is the group Babaton. So this is from Babaton and which is Aritzia, sorry, right? It's Aritzia. I'm guessing this is a women's or is it a men's? I know it's a button thing guys, which I believe this is a women's because of the buttons. I'm gonna go with that. I know we always, you always have to remind me and I appreciate that, um, but it just never sticks for whatever reason. Okay, next is a pair of Madewell jeans. I'm trying to remember what, if there was anything weird about these. I don't think so. I mean, nothing too weird, I guess. They are the skinny skinny, as opposed to just the skinny, the single skinny. Size 31, uh, they do have the distressed knee though. Not sure if it came like that. So yeah, and a raw hem, that I bet it did come with. Uh, small discoloration there, but I don't think that that's, it kind of almost looks like a bleach stain. Like I don't think I could have stain treated it out. And I've been using three different stain treater, stain sprays, 
these past couple of months. The only one I can remember off the top of my head is Grandma's, which is seems to be my favorite. Uh, my sewist gave me one, which is, I think, Tide. And the other one is the blue and red bottle, whatever that is. I mean, I'll pretty much try anything. These I just loved. They're Urban Outfitters. They're so fun. Maybe, ooh, these could warrant a Y2K in the title. These feel fun. Uh, it's a newspaper clipping, I'm guessing. I don't know what it's for. It keeps saying like crystal ball, crystal ball. I'm um, not sure what size they are. If I had to guess, they're probably a 24, but let's find out and see how wrong I am. Oh, it says six. What's the conversion on that? Probably a 25, 26. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, next we have the brand. It's a great brand. What do you, how do you pronounce it? Three by one? I mean, that's what I would say. Three by one NYC jeans. And these are probably, what, 20 something, 29. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say. These I could send to the real real. Will I do it? Maybe. I'm just going to throw it in my real real pile for right now. Okay, this I did grab because I thought this would be fun to put in a box. I love the selling this brand. It's Prana. Great outdoor brand. Size large dress. You know, athletic dress. It does have the bra on the inside. I think it's in good condition. So anyways, I'll toss that over there. Next, we have something that got washed. More pear wall items. <laughs> Just drink. Take a, take a drink every time I say that. Oh, um, yeah, this is, sorry, something for a friend. <laughs> it's nothing special. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, okay? Uh, next item is Oh, I think these are Lululemon because I can't find what they are right off the bat. So that's an indicator. There's the Lululemon again. You know, I keep driving the home, but I'm just saying, you know, you find these Lululemon pants and they're like really, really, really uh, faded. Not after you wash them with the stuff, just saying. And these are a size, see if it says it in the pocket. It's a really cool waistband, size six. Do you see this crossover waistband? That's kind of fun. I remember there was a legging on TikTok. I think it was during maybe 2020 or 2021. I think the style, they're originally from American Eagle or Aerie. And it was that crossover waistband that looked funny. Crossover waistband. <laughs> Still looks weird. And yeah, so anyways, I think, I don't know who made it popular though. Probably was Lululemon. I think this is a nice kids brand also that I looked up. So maybe this is the one I'm thinking of. Petite Bateau. Kind of hard to see that tag. Uh, extra small. Uh, if they take it, I may send it to the real real. Okay, next piece I have for you. I don't even know what this is. And I don't know if it's special, but I just thought it was so, such a nice sentiment. So anyways, it's a size small. The brand is J-A-A-N-U-U. And it says, you are my sunshine. It kind of reminds me of like, maybe like a graphic Madewell t-shirt. Um, but I don't know, I'm not familiar with this brand. What do you guys know about that? I threw it in like a totally separate pile too. Like it's not gonna get sold. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll sell it. This is Soft Surroundings. Love selling this brand, love selling their dresses. Oh my gosh, their dresses sell pretty quickly. This is a size medium floral dress, real, real cute. This would be great for like Easter or spring. Speaking of really cute dresses, <laughs> I love this one. Look at this. It is a Brooks Brothers dress. This is size 12 petite and I think I'm gonna probably have to steam it even though I don't want to. Uh, it, there is a belt that it comes with. It's just in another bag because I washed all of this stuff. There's pockets in the front, it buttons down. Yes, love this dress. Speaking of great for Easter, we really need to get that photographed because that feels very appropriate. Um, next I have a pair of page jeans. These are a size 28 and they are the Hoxton ankle. I'm fairly certain I own a pair of these myself. I love page jeans. If my friends saw this, they would make fun of me. A certain friend knows they would make fun of me because they know I like page jeans. <laughs> Okay, this next one is the brand Fervor, which is, to my knowledge, sold at Modcloth. 
It's a size medium, gorgeous faux wrap dress, real cute. Um, I could put this in a box. That's real cute. I don't think there's any flaws. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, we'll do that. Typically, the fervor pieces that I've picked up have been plus size, so that might be my first non-plus size one. This is a Harley Davidson t-shirt. I don't pick up all Harley Davidson, but the cute ones, uh, size extra large. Here's the print. I don't know. It looked cool. <laughs> so, uh-huh. I got it. <laughs> we'll sell it. Uh, this brand, if it's the same brand that I'm thinking of, I've sold this before. It's the brand TNA. Love that name. There it is. Uh, their size medium large in, if I'm remembering correctly, these should be a women's. The TNA brand that I've sold were women's. Cute little shorts. How fun are these? I love these, like little biker style shorts. And what else do we have? Oh, these are a pair of Nanette Lepore. That's really close. Size six dress pants. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll toss these in the box too. I'm just giving them a look-see. I don't know. There's a little bit of fraying actually here at the top. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but I'll sell them here. Okay. Two bags down and one, two, three. I can't even see the rest. There might be like four or five more bags. It's a big haul. This is like, I don't know. You could consume this haul in one sitting or you could, you know, have me on in the background and we're just working together for the day. I'm guessing that's what some people are doing and that's totally fine. Here's that belt. Okay, this is an Eileen Fisher tank top. I have never seen anything like this from Eileen Fisher, so that's cool. There's a shelf bra in there, and it's a size small, and it's white, and it's still the color white after being at the outlet, which is kind of crazy. This is the Anthro brand Sleeping on Snow. I think they sell it at Anthro. I don't think that it's urban. It's a size large. It has a super duper soft, uh, what do I want to call this, like shearling? I don't know collar and knit wonderfulness i don't know what else to say about it guys Ooh, really pretty cable knit yeah burnt red orange it's cool we'll toss that over there i don't know if i said what size it is medium maybe okay this jacket i don't know where this is from i don't know where it's sold i think it's made well okay so it says rain o shine, water resistant, size extra small. When I Googled it, I thought it said made well, okay? But you might be thinking, Denali, it's missing a button. No, it just fell off in the wash, which was kind of irritating, uh, but I found it. And so I will have my sewist put it back on, but otherwise it's a super cute jacket. I love it. So I'm gonna put that in like, we need to spend a few minutes on it pile. Uh, palette cleanser. Here's something for me. This is just special. Add it to my Puget Sound pile. But this is a pullover, I don't know, sweatshirt type thing. It's not really a sweatshirt. It's more windbreakery material. But it's for a resort here in Washington. It's called Semiamu. And I used to go there all the time when I was a kid. That's what it looks like again. Fun. I don't even know if it's open anymore. So local friends, please chime in who've heard of it before. Is it open? They've kind of opened and closed a few times because of lack of finances. So anyways, I do hope it's open, but I saw that and it's my size. So of course I grabbed it. Okay, next item is, I'm trying to see if there's discoloration on here. Oof, it's hard to see, maybe a little bit. I was thinking about putting this in a box, but I don't know. It's the brand Lith, Leith, whatever. Didn't I find this last in my last haul? Not the exact same one. Size two dress, anthro, did I say that part yet? Real cute, I think it has pockets, but even if it doesn't, it doesn't negate the fact that it's cute and we will still sell it. Okay, this next item is a brand I've only found in LA before, so maybe that means it's getting saturated if it's already up where I live. It's a brand Gypsy 05 and it's a size medium dress, maxi style dress really pretty I'm fairly certain this is silk and I'm fairly certain all of their stuff is silk and I don't know where the care tag is right now otherwise I would show you I'm not sure if I could send that into the real real I will be curious and I will check the brand list so yeah 
this. I love this dress. So remember in the beginning, I said that I found two of this brand, Gilly. This is a size medium. This dress is to die for. I love this. Oh my gosh. How fun is this? It's linen. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Yeah. The Real Real does accept this brand. I'm fairly certain. So it may end up going there. I'm going to toss it in that pile. Okay. Next, I think this is the brand three. Yeah. 360 degree, 360 cashmere, 360 cashmere. I was going to say 360 degrees, but it's 360 cashmere. It's a size extra small sleeveless little sweater top. Did you take that at the real real? So I'll probably send that to them. This is the brand Cow Cow. <laughs> and it's a size 2XL. I have sold this brand before, not this dress, but look how fun it is. Yes. So um, I'm pretty sure it's sold for a good amount, whatever that means. My pile is getting really high. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Okay, next item, this brand. I think it's good, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Somebody chime in, chime in. S -E -N, S-E-N, and it's a size one. I can't remember. Like I said, I ran comps on everything before I left, guys, because I was like, you don't get to go home until you do this work. Uh, but the hang brand, brand tag, whatever it's called, uh, is loose, so I will have my sewers put it back on there. This is another Vince top. This one's a creamy ivory color and it is a size medium. Very cute. Feels like silk off the top of my head. Throw that there. This is, oh gosh, how much more is there? <laughs> a North Face jacket. Uh, kids, I think. What are you? Boys, large, 1416. It's got the packable hood. Super cute. And what are you? A Columbia jacket, also kids. Size extra small or 6 6X. Six um, what else we got here? Oh, I never find these. I mean, in the wild. Frame denim jeans. And these are the Lehigh Skinny, size 29. This is them. I don't know what else to say about them. They're in really good condition. What will I do? Will I sell them here or send them to the real real? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, next is a pair of men's Lululemon sweatpants. It does have the size bars here. I'm pretty sure these are men's. So I don't know what they go in with men's, but with women's, the bars, one bar is size four, then six, then eight, and then beyond there. I don't know why it doesn't go start at two, but when, from my research, it doesn't. Yeah, these appear to be men's. So anyways, I don't know if there's info in the pockets. Sometimes there is, let's see. <sighs> yeah, I don't see anything. Sorry guys. Uh, yeah, but anyways, these are sweatpants. <laughs> they do have pilling on them and I need to depill them a little bit. <laughs> we'll toss that there. Um, what do we got next? Oh, this is a new to me brand, but I think I ran comps. Alpha 60. Are you guys familiar with that? It's a hundred percent Merino wool. And again, I don't think I ever flipped it inside out or right side out, but this is it. A super cute sweater. I wonder if they take it the real, real going to find out. This is just a real cute vintage dress. It's I'm guessing this is vintage. Ozone clothing designed in USA, size small. It's 100% rayon, but I just loved it. And I love the colors and the print. It's kind of that crinkly style. And it does have the little belt here at the back. Fun, fun. Okay, what else do we have? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is the brand ALC. They do take this at the real real, so you might be going there. Um, I don't know what size it is. Let's see, medium. And it does say 2013 on it, interesting. Size extra small, I've never seen a date on it. Established date or when it was made. And look, another ALC item. This one's a size large. Plain white t-shirt with the fun little uh, poof sleeves. 
what do you call that type of sleeve? Oh, I feel like it has a good name that I can't remember. Uh, these are, I think, Columbia women's size. It says 10 4L. Which one is it? <laughs> uh, shorts. They're real cute. Shorty shorts, kind of like a minty color. This is Madewell jeans. What's up with these? I feel like, yeah, these ones have, uh, I don't know. There's like a hole right near the butt. And I think I was thinking we could do some repair work to them, but I might be acting a little too ambitious here. Okay, next is All Saints. I think this is a women's size six All Saints sweater. It's really cool. I don't know if this is silk on top and then if it's cashmere on the bottom, but those would be my guesses. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's merino wool. <laughs> polyester it was way off <laughs> so anyways here it is super cute women's uh real real does take all saints so will i send it there maybe um this i could put in a box i was thinking about taking this to plato's but i suppose i could put it in a box they are brandy melville and look they're just super fun pants i don't know Oh, that's cool. There's like a notch here at the ankle. Do you see that? Like an intentional notch. That's fun. Uh, the only thing is, is that Brandy Melville pieces are traditionally one size fits most. So whoever buys this would need to know that. It's 100% cotton. Yeah, Brandy Melville pieces are one size fits most. So um, just know it's not missing a size tag. That is the size. <laughs> Okay, next oh my gosh. Is, is this part of it? I'm like, were you part of it or were you part of another haul? I'm going to show you anyways. I think this was part of it. This is a Jansport puffer jacket. I don't know if it's vintage because I've never seen a Jansport puffer. This thing is legit. And I did look up comps and they're very interesting. And it's super puffy. The down is like still really nice. There's some pilling on the collar in here, so I will need to clean that up. But other than that, stoked. We will sell that. The next two items, I've got a couple of skirts here, and I do remember they dumped a bin that had a bunch of stuff on hangers. And so anyways, it was just some vintage skirts. Like this one's Hunt Club, and then the other two are, I don't even know what they are, some other brand. But they are new with tag, which is considered dead stock. So that's why I grabbed them. So yeah, there's that one. And this is what the other ones look like. They're just wool, wool skirts. Oh, they're the brand Savannah. Both of them are. So maybe I'll sell them as a lot. I don't know what makes sense. Okay, um, this I could put in the box. This is a Riders Lee, you know, like Lee jeans just fleece, but it's really pretty. Look at the print. I think this is a women's. It's an extra large and it is new with tags. I'm gonna take a little bite out of the tag, but it is new with tags. So yeah, I'll throw that over there. Oh gosh, this next top is so beautiful. I'm pretty sure I ran comps on this and they looked good. Rosa Palma is the brand and it's hand painted one of a kind, what blouses or something. I feel like my mom would like this and I kind of feel like I should show it to her first before I do anything about listing. And it's a size medium, which is her size, so. You're welcome, Mom. These are a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren pants. I'm curious if the Real Real will take this green tag, because I feel like I've sent it to them. They're new with tag, and arguably, this tag is older, just by the department store that it says on here. So, I might try and send it. <laughs> I might try to do that. Uh, this is a gorgeous Nanette Lepore jacket. I think this is an older style, given the tag, because I've sold that tag before. It's a size two. Uh, it does have these hook closures here. I don't see any flaws with this. I absolutely love this jacket. It is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, stoked to sell that. Oh, this piece is so cool. Okay, so it's Country Cheyenne Collection. I didn't even comp this one because this one was a no-brainer for me. When I saw it come out from the bin, this was one of the bins where I was 
waiting in the line and I saw this and I was like, yeah, you're mine. So I snatched that real quick, but that's what it looks like. I don't know if that's vintage, that brand. I'm not sure. Okay, I have to grab another bag, so I gotta dip out a frame. Okay, there's three bags left. We're gonna go quick, okay? Because I, I have to go eat dinner. I haven't eaten dinner. Okay, it's late. You can see my clock back there. You know what time it is. This is Sleeping on Snow, which is anthropology. Super cute, cardigan, not cardigan, sweater. Now that I'm rushing, I'm gonna stumble over all my words size medium this is oh the brand Truve. i don't know how do you pronounce that it's a size i'm guessing that's a large as opposed to a one when i looked up comps they look real great so excited about that one this is a new to me brand publish i didn't even look up comps because i was like um these just look amazing i don't have to know the comps on this one to know it's probably good I'm guessing these are men's, size 36. Look at them, they're like knit joggers. This amazing cable knit jogger. Oh, so cool. Okay, next is an Everlane. I think this is Everlane, yeah. Uh, sweater, size small. It's inside out, but you guys, you get it, right? I don't need to turn it inside out or right side in. It's recycled cashmere and wool. I was curious, because it's really, so really really soft this is oh my gosh i forgot wow i hope people stuck around for the last half of this haul because it's really good isabelle morant a toile um not sure what size this one is beautiful sweater may send that to the real real um this is oh my gosh now i'm like should this have been two hauls whatever what's this one called like is it just called three dots because i can't remember and I feel like it's a good brand, size extra small. That's what it looks like. If you know, you know, one of those situations, right guys? This is the brand Y3, Yoji Yamamoto. I've sold this brand a few times. It's a size large hoodie, so cool. I think that's a men's. Definitely the real real takes that. Um, this I believe is an anthro brand. It's called Alley Hop. And I don't know that I've ever sold it. It's a size small. Is it a dress, a pajama? I don't know. Next is a Lululemon. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and show you. It's a Lululemon tank of some sort. Yeah, there you go. What size is it? Small, maybe? I'm guessing a small. Uh, this is an 11Zs dress. It's a size US 8. Super cute, I think it's dress. Where are you? Oh yeah, you're real cute. That's fun. Okay, oh my gosh, these piles are getting crazy. Okay, next is, uh, oh, what brand is this? Okay, hold on, hold on. Where are you sold at? I wanna say it's Anthro. Yes, it is. Okay, so the brand is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's what the tag looks like, okay? Look at this top with the little shawl collar. Super cute. Um, probably a small, yes. This was so fun. I don't know if I can sell this one too. It's just the brand Junk Food, Junk Food t-shirt. Size small, but it's Aladdin. You guys, I don't know what year they produced this shirt. I don't think, it's not like vintage or anything, but it's just really cool. It's purple, purple's like my favorite color. So there's that. Uh, this is another fervor piece, size small. And it's just this open front cardigan type thing. Maybe I'll put this, maybe it'll be two fervor pieces. I don't know if I have, you know, the last box I did was five pounds. So I don't know if I have enough to do multiples out. I only had enough to do two last time. So maybe only one or two this time. Madewell, size small, sweater top with this in back. I don't know if you tie it in the back. Or the front super cute uh inside out but it's a north you don't have to take my word it's a north face hoodie it's green it says north face on here like the other ones this is oh this is a john galt which is brandy melville uh windbreaker maybe i'll put this in there too wait is the zip okay the zipper's there um again john galt brandy melville 
all those pieces are one size fits most. This one's real cute. Wait, is there a flaw? Mm, some of the stitching's coming out, so no. Okay, next is this Madewell top. It is, feels almost like a waffle knit in a way. And it's a size extra small and it's a super cute, like tie-dye coloring. That's cute, right? That's fun. There's a little loose string down here. I'll probably need to cut that. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some like pilling, but not really. I think it's part of the texture of the shirt. Oh, what do you think? I was thinking about throwing it in the box, so that's why I'm asking. I think it looks good. I mean, I also want to sell it, but I'm like, that'd be fun to throw in the box. <laughs> okay, this is an Eileen Fisher wrapped cardigan thing. It's a size medium, but it does have a hole. See, there you go. Uh, we'll just note that in the listing. This is a theory dress size 10. I believe that's older tag theory because it's more spaced out. They do take that at the real real, so maybe we'll put it there in the real real pile. These are another the group Babaton. I'm sure it was from that same person's lot of clothing. Size small jogger pants. And what else? This is an Emma and Sam top. I think I ran comps on this brand and it looked good. Yeah, there it is. So <laughs> I couldn't wear that top, but somebody else will look awesome in it. This is an Everlane sweater and it's a size small. This has to be cashmere. I'm not even gonna look. I just know it. Super duper soft. I think this is that Maeve dress. I was thinking there was a Maeve dress earlier in the beginning. Yep, it's Maeve. It's size medium. That's what the Maeve tag looks like. And really pretty, almost like watercolor. Again, I don't know what material it is, but it feels like, feels like silk. This is, okay, I didn't know if this was, I know Kendall and Kylie have a few different lines, like PacSun, and then they have like a higher end one, and I don't know where else they sell it, probably Kohl's, because everybody has a Kohl's line. Which Kendall and Kylie is this one? What's the black tag? Extra, extra large. If I can, I'd love to just send it to the real real. Ooh, I think I just got like a piece of sweater in my mouth. Sick. Oh, um, this is like a beat, beat Everlane sweater. Extra small. It's got all sorts of staining. Probably shouldn't have grabbed it, but here we are. Uh, let me grab the last two bags. It's three bags, but they're small. Okay, they're medium size, but we're gonna go through them really fast. Because otherwise I just have to say, we'll save for the next one, but my next haul is also really big. Okay, this is a theory dress. <laughs> it's floral, but it does have some discoloration on the shoulders. I did wash it with the Parawall, but again, that discoloration can't be fixed because it's not a dye. Is everything in here black? I think so. This is, can you understand why I, I just had to keep grabbing stuff? It's, it was a great day to have a great day. This is the brand. Oh, it's a Theory cardigan with a hole in the neck. I'm going to see if my sewist can repair that. These are a pair of Torrid. No, just kidding. I think that's another hole. This is a pair of Levi's overalls. How fun are these? Size 28. Pair of black overalls. There. Throw that down there. This is some sort of t-shirt. Oh, I don't know what this is. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed it. It's a McDonald's t-shirt. It says J Balvin Familia. I did look up comps. People are definitely selling them, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is kind of fun. I don't know what this brand is called. A-Lab. Size medium. Windbreaker. <laughs> it's a spaceship. It says anywhere but here. That spoke to me on a deeper level. So, got it. This is, oh, new to me brand. It's called Stephanie Schuster for Princess Knitwear. That's quite the name. Size medium. Never have seen this brand. Knit pants. Look like barefoot dreams from far away. Comps. Great. So definitely grabbed it. Madewell shorts. It's kind of a like rust orange size eight. Sundays in Brooklyn. <laughs> Sweater top. I already know without even opening it up. 
rag and bone jeans, men's jeans. I don't know, probably size 30 something, 33. There they are. Uh, e Shakti dress with the embroidered polka dots. I'm not sure what size. Inquire via email if you're curious. This is a really pretty and other stories sheer dress. Toss that down there. Uh, Lululemon leggings. Not sure what size, but they're gray with stripes. Again, just shoot me an email if you guys are like super duper curious. Patagonia button down shirt. You know, not the most fun Patagonia piece, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, really cool North Face hoodie something size extra large. I'm like, mm, would this fit me? It was quite the haul, you guys. It's still going. I'm not saying that like it's over. I feel like all the good stuff is at the end too. Isabelle Morant Etoile and size something. I don't know. Looks like a medium because borderline. I could hold it up to me and it would maybe look like it fits. This is a free people cropped sweater with like a bell sleeve and ties. Wow, that's cool. Lululemon pants. And I might have to cut this short, guys, because this is like still too much stuff and I'm not doing it all justice. Lululemon top. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. I hate to cut it short, but like we're at an hour and six minutes. So we'll toss this into my next one. I'm pretty sure my next haul, I think it's like 120 pounds from the outlet. I know. One is good is good. Uh, so we'll add this into it and it'll be a to be continued because this is a lot of stuff and I, I gotta go eat my dinner. Otherwise I'm just melting before you on camera, but thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around this far, um, I appreciate you. And I hope that you've been able to get a little bit of work done or you've chuckled a little bit and had a good time with me. Other than that, bye guys. I'll talk to you later.